So we have Metaverse, we have AGI, we touch a bit of that. And of course, blockchain is still in the inception, let's put it that way. So from for from all the research and of course, practical stuff uh, that are not so practical, because in the end of the day, if you look at what you're doing with Codex DF, it's a massive amount of work and technology to make it work properly. Mm -hmm. So can you highlight uh, from the books and from the research you've been doing mm -hmm. and as well, entrepreneur, where do you see the major trends, especially that are important for you, for your uh, work, for your team and for the research you're doing with World Economic Forum and a lot of other things and uh, groups that you've been working internationally? So I think technology, so first of all, technology capabilities will continue to improve. And we always underestimate how long it will take to actually get to the next result and see how long it takes to actually make the transformation happening when we started. And then when we look in hindsight, say, wow, I can't believe how much happened in the last 10 years and how many things have changed since then. So technology capabilities and making those available to more people, more organizations um, will unlock a lot of put human potential and maybe even global potential. Um, and it's happening step by step. And I think looking back 10, 15 years, a lot of these pictures become much clearer than they were looking outside. Again, I mentioned in agility, we talked about video conferencing and uh, remote work and collaboration scenarios. Um, all of those things were there in 2008, 2010. Organization had already embraced it. And you could see the direction it was going to go. It, th that we needed a pandemic for everybody to embrace it. Well, sad, sad to see, but the technology seats were there 10, 15 years before that. Distributed organizations, they were there long time ago. We had, uh, I said, I interviewed for one of my books, a, a game development studio that said, yeah, we're using, we have fantastic project managers that are usually sitting in the Philippines. We have developers that are sitting in the Ukraine and graphical artists that are sitting in the US and Japan. All of those bringing them together makes the right games. And they do this for 20 years. So really the seats are there, but how fast they go and becoming broadly adopted um, that is always a question and partly it depends a lot on leadership. It depends a lot of how open are we to embracing new, new trends? How open are we to embrace young people living in a world that comes that, 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 that comes to us? I think you and I mentioned, uh, you mentioned the metaverse. I'm looking at uh, the, the kids that are playing Roblox every day. That's where they meet their friends that they were collaborating in. Um, interesting, we wrote about some of these things in your fear when we talked about the digital cowboys, the generation that was coming 10 years ago into the workplace. Said They grew up in a world where online collaboration was already much more ingrained to them. And the rest of the world and people with a little bit more gray hair that have to start to catch up there. Um, but that doesn't mean we have to forget all the good lessons we have learned. Things like trust, auditability, making sure we are um, not forgetting yeah, some of those core lessons. I think when you ask me as an investor, even in the crypto space, some of the best lessons I've learned as an angel investor, looking at teams, looking at technology, making sure I fully understand what's happening and not just formal fear of missing out and throwing money at stuff that might went somewhere and then disappeared. No, fantastic. And I think that's the most important thing right now is that we put all this together, this collaboration. 